What's going on YouTube? It's your boy Ron back with another video. Before we get started, please like, comment, subscribe, and all that good jazz. Today we are gonna be discussing why women struggle with dating. Um yeah, I don't know if I'm gonna make that the title, man, but um I'm going to play this like, little really quick clip for you. And once you start hearing this guy talking, you're going to kind of understand where I'm coming from and why I, I started off the video that way. Um, but I, well, I ain't going to hold you up, you know, because I'm trying to make these videos shorter. So go ahead and spin this real quick. Make sure the volume up so y'all guys can. The right to do whatever they want. She can go to the club as many times as she wants. She can post whatever she wants on social media. She can entertain as many male friends as she wants to. And of the many rights that she has, she also has the right to remain single. And you have the right to walk away as a man and only deal with people who exhibit the characteristics that are becoming of someone who wants a serious relationship. Understand this. The fact of the matter is that she wants the stability, comfort, and convenience of a relationship while still being able to function as a single woman. And the way she achieves that right there, this is why I chose this clip. If you could name the top five reasons why females struggle with dating, that reason right there would be in my top five. Probably top three. Hell, it might be even might even be number one. Like. And the funny thing is, is that like women say this with a straight face, like it's okay. That's the scary thing about it. Like these women genuinely think that this ish is cool, bro. Like they really think that we should be, that's why I find it so funny that when you see women on social media saying like men aren't men anymore women aren't women anymore y'all act like damn men for the last 60 years men have been brainwashed to act and think more like women meanwhile at the same time women have been brainwashed to act and think more like men and that's how we've gotten to where we at now and we're just clashing and button heads with one another because you got one side that's saying, hey, you should act like this and act like this. And then you got one side saying, nah, you should act like this and be like this. When what we're really asking from each other, how can I put this? What we're asking of each other doesn't match. Like you get what I'm saying? like ladies you can't be you can't be masculine but then at the same time say you want a masculine man because by default dude is gonna have to be so masculine that he's probably gonna have to damn near beat your ass just to get you in line like why should a man have to why should a man have to handle you? why why should a man have to handle you like that just to get you in line Cause that's another thing I be noticing about women. Like, Ugh, I want a man that can, I want a man that'll tell me to shut up. I want a man that'll, that'll check me. Why should a man have to? Why come you just can't behave like a mature adult? But as men, we're expected to be the mature ones. We're expected to be, to act like the adult. I'm sorry, y'all. I just went on one hell of a rant, man. Let's just continue because this clip ain't really too much longer, man. But he do do spitting facts, bro. Let's just listen up. Use this is by resorting to shaming tactics by calling you insecure, toxic, controlling, and a massage therapist when you set respectable boundaries that she. Nah, he 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 meant he meant misogynist. He didn't mean mas massage therapist, man. Hopefully YouTube don't ring me for that. But he meant misogynist. He didn't mean massage therapist, y'all ready to adhere to it's not about what you're willing to allow you can't allow a free woman to do anything she's a free woman right. it is about what you're willing to accept right. and when you put it that way you are in full control of your environment and you disarm the shaming tactics okay everyone. thank you bro and 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 and, and, and that's my second point 
that I want to dwell on when it comes to this, man. Like, because you ever notice? Because I remember seeing another clip, too. And matter of fact, matter of fact, I got a good story for you. This probably happened about a month ago, man. Um, and shout out to the homie AB, man, Antoine, bro. If you if you watch this video, man, you 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 was actually you was actually on this post, man. Um, so I had a long time female friend, like I've known her for years. She stay out in Canada. It, it's a long story, but anyway. Um, I had made a post about, you know, um, it has something to do with weight or I don't even feel like going on my Facebook and trying to find it, man. But long story short, like she sat up here and got it, got in her feelings because, um, because I mentioned something about, you know, like, like, you know, like, like, you know, like quit being lazy and, you know, y'all can go to the gym and do this that and the third and this woman got in her feelings and was like um like yeah you crazy like um let them work out the way they want to work out and da -da 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 -da. yeah that's what it was i remember now okay so i've been working out for four or five years now and i've been doing my homework one thing i know is that the combination of resistance training along with cardio helps you burn fat building muscle helps burn fat all right so basically that's all i was saying in my post was like hey like i like i like look I, I'm, I'm like if you a beginner and you just go from machine machine to just try to get a feel for how things move okay i understand that but if you've been in the gym for a while and you and you really trying to reach your goals how about you do a little bit of resistance training now mind you my mom is damn near 70 and even she lifts weights bro so miss me with that and this woman and this woman i'm trying to think man how old is monica man i'm like monica probably like damn i ain't even mean to put her name out there but i mean monica's a common name but like she probably uh, she probably about 30 now or about to be 30 and she's actually about to get a surgery herself i'm not sure if it's a bbl but according to her it ha got something to do with her health which i find kind of weird because i've always she's always posted pictures of stuff she ate and she's always eating pretty healthy so to be honest with you i think she's just being lazy and getting a bbl like all these other chicks are um but anyway so yeah, she got in her feelings like, yeah, um, just let them work out the way they want to work out. I'm like, okay, but it's literally, it's a scientific fact that building muscle helps burn fat. I told her, I was like, even, I'm like, my own mother lifts weights and she's almost 70. And she could tell you the same thing. How are you going to dispute this with me? And she said, I was crazy. So in my mind, I'm thinking to myself, like, that's very, very, very telling. So just imagine if you had that same approach with a woman that you was dealing with. It's, it's just mind blowing, bro. Like how these women, they really, they want the type they want the they want the title of being in a relationship but they want to move like they single and then god forbid the man is doing the same thing because guess who's gonna be in the wrong it's not gonna be her make that make sense bro how it's like fellas don't let these women shame you for having preferences and standards because trust and believe they gonna have theirs and you and theirs and they standards is all they always got far more standards than us we don't 
That and, and that's the whole and that's the messed up part about it. They they shame us for having standards, but they got way more standards than us. Ooh wee. I tell you, man, this is why I'm so worried about the next generation, man, because I'm seeing how women, and mind you, I'm 36. I'm seeing how the women my age and the women in their 20s are acting. And all I keep thinking is like, damn, man, a lot of these women are mothers, single mothers at that. And I'm like, bro, it's all, I'm like, the future is only going to get worse, man. I'm like, and they, and they embracing the city girl, Cardi B, Megan Thee Stallion culture. With, with, which is hypocrisy in itself because even Cardi B said she wouldn't let her kids listen to her music. I'm like, but these women still worshiping and following these women. Like, like, bro, modern women are being led astray, bro. And it's like, and it seems like as men, all we can really do is become the best ver versions of ourselves and vet these women to the T, you hear me? We have to, because we got way more to lose than these women do, as much as they want to try to, they want to try to put this perception like, like it's the other way around when it's really not. Because at the end of the day, I'm like, a woman can leave you and pick and choose who she want to deal with. Now, as men, we, most men don't got options like that. Like, the average woman is running circles around the average man, man. I'm like, the way this world world set up. You got average looking women making, making thousands off of OnlyFans. And I'm looking at some of these women like, dude, I don't even find you that attractive. Like, how? how? Because you got so many dudes out here that have been raised to glorify women. And nine times out of ten, it was pro they was probably raised by a single mom, so she raised her her son to look at women like they way up here, and he way down here. And it's only gonna get worse because single motherhood keeps rising and rising and rising, and marriage rate keeps declining, declining, declining. I don't know y'all, man, but so I'm like, something gotta be done, bro. Like, like Kevin Samuel said on his podcast last night, it's time to open the market. Like, more black men, men in general, need to start dating out. And I'm not just talking this country, because you already know what my plan is. I'm about to get my passport. I'm gone. You gonna find me either in Thailand, Colombia, or the Philippines. It, it, it's a wrap. Like I, I genuinely feel like it's a wrap in this country, man. I don't know, man. Let me know what y'all think. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and end it here. Make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe, and all that good jazz. And I catch you in the next video, y'all.